Welcome back everybody to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to be going over the Titan Thunder God Lightning build or whatever you wanna call it. I call it the Thunder God build. But before we get into the build, if you guys could hit the subscribe button as it helps me know that you guys are enjoying this content. Like the video down below as well and comment any builds that you wanna see me do or any questions that you may have about this build or things you think may improve this build. Now let's get straight into the build. First up, I am on Thunder Crash. You can kind of pick either one of these. I like Thunder Crash for PvE for the damage. Um, but Fist of Havoc and Thunder Crash are both, both pretty good in PvP. Next up, I'm using the Thruster ability. Now, this isn't necessarily important, but you get your Thruster back a lot faster, and you can build it to be even a little bit faster than you get your Barricade or your Rally Barricade. So this is probably the fastest way that you're going to be able to use this. I'm using the Thunderclap Arc Melee. And the Storm Grenade, again, not exactly essential, but the Storm Grenade is really OP and really good for this build specifically. Next up for the aspects, we are running Knockout. Critically wounding a target or breaking their shields infuses your melee attacks with arc energy and increases your melee range and damage for a short time. Extremely useful because we're going to be using our grenade a lot and using our grenade actually will critically wound a lot of enemies if not actually pop their shields if they do have the arc shields but it doesn't specify that the um, that the enemy's shield has to be arc it's just popping any shield next up we have touch of thunder your flashbang pulse lightning and storm grenades have enhanced functionality storm grenade after detonating creates a roaming thundercloud that tracks nearby targets and fires bolts of lightning at foes beneath it this is why we're using the storm grenade it is extremely helpful and that roaming thunder cloud that is just striking down opponents is really good ad clear next we're going to talk about our fragments we have spark of ions defeating a jolted target creates ionic traces Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. Spark of Magnitude. Your lingering arc grenades, lightning grenade, pulse grenade, and storm grenade have extended duration. So that also, again, goes back to our storm grenade. Using that roaming aspect as well is going to make our storm grenades even better because it's going to last much longer while it's roaming. Then we have Spark of Shock. Your arc grenade jolts targets taking us back to our jolted targets, creating ionic traces upon defeated. Now I'm pairing this with uh, the out of bounds for more common arc kills. Moving to our mods, on our helmet, I have firepower. While charged with light, regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade. Consume one stack of charge with light. Down on our gauntlets, I am using grenade kickstart. When your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. Melee Wellmaker, powered melee combatant final blows, spawn elemental wells matching your subclass energy type. Down on our chest piece, we're actually using the Heart of Imos Light because using one ability will briefly improve the others, which I'll get to here in a minute. We have Thermoshock Plating and Seeking Wells. Elemental wells you create will move across the ground towards nearby players. Down here on our boots, I have Invigoration, reduced melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power and Radiant Light, casting your super causes nearby allies to become charged with light. Now down here on our Titan Mark, finally we have Lightning Strikes twice. After throwing an Arc Grenade, gain increased grenade recharge for a short time Arc Final Blows, extend the duration of this benefit. So this build is essentially using infinite grenades and it is actually pretty OP. So I'm gonna jump straight into a PVE location and I will start to show you the build. All right, so I decided to jump into the Castellum because I figured there's gonna be plenty of ads I can actually get this build to work out on. So what we're gonna do here, perfect start, is I'm gonna use my thruster and then throw a grenade because that's gonna actually proc and start killing everything while roaming as well. And since I used a fully expended grenade ability and I killed things with arc, you can see that my grenade's pretty much already been recharged. I can use my dodge yet again and then maybe get a melee off, and I'm using that to empower my grenade even further. So the next time I throw my grenade, which let me try to get it off now, no enemies unfortunately, but again, I have half of my grenade ability already regenerated, so we're gonna run around to the other side of this, try to get some adds again. I'll use my, my dodge ability, maybe get a melee kill, and re recharge this, uh... There we go, there's the grenade. Now I can use this melee, dodge, I have my grenade again, chuck my grenade down here, it's gonna be a roaming, s never mind, it didn't roam. Get one of those, use that, get the roaming, 
And you constantly just pretty much have infinite abilities, which is why this is called the Thunder God build. It is absolutely cracked and insane. I can throw another grenade by the time that one's done. Now I can do this and use my melee. Managed to kill both of them pretty quickly with both the grenade and melee abilities. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole build here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This build is absolutely insane. And if you did enjoy and like this build or think that there's something that you can do to improve this build, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as uh, it helps me know that you are enjoying this content and uh, supporting the channel. If there are any questions that you guys have, you can also leave a comment down below. I will leave a dim link in the description so you guys can just click the link and save the build for yourself as well. And uh, anyway, without further ado, I think that's going to bring us to the end of this video. So appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Have a good one.